Hey Frugivore, welcome back to the Frugivore Diet Channel. So today's video is an early one at 4am and my voice is a little bit croaky, but we are going to respond to Jacqueline Hill because Jacqueline Hill actually reacted in a series of tweets on Twitter to my recent video reacting to her Jack's Snacks video. And I think this is wonderful. This is fantastic, right? This is the exact result that we want because she has such a large following. We want these individuals to reflect on their disastrous diet. And that has happened here, which is fantastic. We're going to talk about very soon. And um, I've been trying to get her attention for years, for years to help make her make the connection between what she's eating and promoting and the negative impact it's having on her body, her viewers' bodies, and obviously the lives of animals and the planet around her. So good, very, very good. And um, actually mainstream media has focused on this as well, which is fantastic and actually covered the story of her tweets and my video. So this is great, great, great. If you want to see more of these videos, definitely take a moment right now. Take a moment right now to press the thumbs up or press the thumbs down. You can press the thumbs down. It is okay. If you don't like it, do it seriously and I have noticed a number of her fans have done that on my video here freely reacts to Jacqueline Hill Jack Snacks she, she still doesn't get it and this is great we want we want this interaction dislike it that is fine unfortunately you know they're just defending their queen. I get it. I get you. You see me you're like, who is she? She's obnoxious, whatever. But the wonderful thing is that you have found me. Okay, you have found me through, you know, Jacqueline making these tweets. And I did notice a, a sharp increase in the, num the number of sales of the Raw Till Fall book. And that's fantastic. I want you to jump on this lifestyle. This is going to change your life forever. Change the animals' lives, the planet, those around you are going to be actually a good role model, a healthy influence. So definitely check it out. The link is in the description below. And I've lost over 40 pounds eating a fruit-based diet. It's amazing. So yes, I am going to promote my book because I want it to change your life. I know it will. So yeah, there's a lot of dislikes here, 1.1 thousand dislikes. They're not happy with the banana girl. And I get it, like I said. But anyway, we are going to check out these tweets from Jacqueline Hill. Here is the first one. I just came across this video tonight. I understand that people like her are very passionate about their beliefs and lifestyle. I'm just passionate about the truth, right? I am all about the truth at unearthing the truth. And I've been doing it for a very long time. Um, but speaking on my weight, health, etc., is not okay. So let me tell you what is not okay. And that's eating in a way that's destroying your health, your audience's health, and the animals' lives around you, and the environment, okay? And pretending it's okay. That's not okay, all right? Especially when we are in the grips of an obesity epidemic. Jacqueline, you are not the victim here. Those who you are eating, they certainly are the victim. And those who are following your advice and you know, eating these cancer-causing carcinogenic foods and damaging their bodies, they are victims of what you are promoting. And this whole but speaking on my weight, health, etc. is not okay. It's like, just stop, okay? Stop making your weight, your excess fat stores, your identity. And once you do that, once you stop making this excess fat your identity, then you don't give a shit what anyone says about your weight because it shouldn't matter. It's just your weight. It's just a temporary state. You can start to lose these fat stores at any time. You are not fat. As I always say, you're not fat. You just have fat. It's very temporary, right? It's not you. It's not your identity unless you make it that, unless you live there. And that's why individuals like um, Jacqueline take offense to comments about her weight. It's just a physiological observation. You know, what she's eating is causing her weight gain, causing her ill health. It's obvious, right? You know, I'm just saying what everybody is thinking. I just have the guts. I have the ovaries to actually speak up and say, hey, this isn't working for you. It's obvious. It's not working for you, your health, your weight, your audience, the animals, the planet. Listen up. Okay, I have the guts to do it. I have the ovaries to stand up and do it. I wish more people did. So anyway, just don't make it your identity. You're not fat. You just have fat. And then she writes, um, I don't drag people or insert myself in drama. <laughs> Is that really true? Or ever, like her audience can tell me right now, does she do that? Or ever want to cause hate or drama for someone else. But since I gained weight, I've received a different level of hate that deserves to have a light shine on it. My body is not your concern. Are you my doctor? No, didn't think so. 
well, if, I mean, your doctor should be fired right now. Your doctor should be fired. Kick his ass to the curb because his recommendations, her recommendations are not working. That is for sure. I mean, look, pointing out that a fellow human has gained weight from eating cruel, disease-causing foods is not hate. Pointing out that a fellow human is being a terrible, unhealthy example by promoting cancer-causing foods is not hate. Pointing out that your diet is the reason for this species and other species going extinct is not hate. This is truth, sister. Okay, and you know, I, I really, I believe in Jacqueline. I'm not giving up on her. I, j I feel like this is fantastic. This is a great um, step in the right direction. And I also noticed on Instagram that she's on this anti-inflammatory diet. Jacqueline, raw till four is the ultimate anti-inflammatory diet. Honestly, and the frugivore diet. Fruit-based is your friend because you are a frugivore. That is your physiology, all right? So when you eat in a way that is like a carnivore, an omnivore, it, it's not going to work for you. It's not working for you, okay? So get on a fruit-based lifestyle. I highly recommend this, you know? You can get all my books, my physical and my e-books. The physical books are on Amazon, but you can get all my books, um, e-books instantly. The link is down below. You can get the whole bundle. But like, this is life-changing, okay? This is more how you're meant to eat than any other diet that you'll find out there anti-inflammatory all the way and that's how I've lost you know so much weight yeah so I'm not your doctor yeah he should be fired that's for sure I've received different level of hate like I said it's not hate okay it's not hate it's actually individuals trying to get you to reflect on the impact you have because you su have such a large following you're making such an impact right you need to realize that and it is our concern it is other is other people's concerns when you what you do affects others and others also uh, includes animals. You make it everybody's business when you take the lives of others and when what you're promoting actually destroys the lives of other people. I mean, go and visit a hospital anywhere in the world. You know, we are in the grips of an obesity epidemic. There are people popping off the planet all the time, painfully. And, you know, making things about your feelings, your feelings are being hurt, like that's more important, is so out of touch with reality. Like, honestly, most of us know someone who has died painfully, right? Or has been ill. You know, it, it's not, it's obviously not fun. It's heartbreaking. What's happening to the animals is heartbreaking. We need to stop that. We need to, like, come back to earth and realize what we are doing, what the choices we are making, the impact they're having, right? And that's why we are here doing that. We're trying to push out this fruit-based diet. And I love having all you here in this community. Keep pushing it out. Keep speaking up. You know, don't worry about hate. This is great. Celebrate. Celebrate the hate, right? All right. So that's my video for today. Let Jacqueline know that I made this video and I'm here to coach her. Girlfriend, step up. I'm here to coach you. One-on-one, -on -one, let's do it. It is time. I'm so glad to see you reflecting and you're ready. I can feel it. you are ready. You're ready to step up and I'm here to support you. We are here to support you. All right. Don't forget to go for it yourself and I'll talk to you soon.